All right. Well, Arnold, let me be about the umpteenth person to welcome you to Dallas this morning. It's good to see you. Well, you're actually one of the first people that is welcoming me to Dallas. I mean, this is early in the morning. We just arrived here. <laughs> um, I've seen the film, and uh, I would venture that it's going to do very well because it has a tremendous amount of action and fantastic stunts. And, but as I sat there watching it, Arnold, I, I couldn't help but think, this was not a fun movie for you to make. I, how could it be? Um, the way it always works in films is that the more fun it is for the audience to watch and the more entertaining it is for the audience to watch, the more miserable it is for us actors to go through this whole experience of filming and making the film. It was a very torturous experience in many ways because uh, whenever you do a film in the jungle, uh, you know already ahead of time what you're going to get into. You get into a lot of heat, humidity, very tough terrain, uh, doing uh, uh, strange stunts, that uh, going over waterfalls and swimming with your gear on and uh, climbing up trees and, and repelling down from helicopters and stuff like that. So you really have to prepare yourself physically really well and then uh, also do a lot of the, the work for the acting, the rehearsals and so on. So it wasn't an easy shoot, and it's very dangerous when you shoot with those explosives that we have in the film and all this action and then uh, being attacked by those weapons that this alien creature has. And so, so it was not easy, you're absolutely right. I heard you say that you did your own stunt where you go over the waterfall. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, how big and how high was the waterfall? Well, the waterfall was about the 40 to 50 feet high. and. Uh, what you do is, if the director wants to do one close-up shot of you being in front of the camera actually going over so it makes it look, uh, more believable, you do that one take and then the rest of the takes when it is not necessary to see you in it, uh, you can let your stunt double do those scenes. So I did one fall and the stunt double did four falls and as a matter of fact, the fourth fall he uh, injured his knee, broke his knee because he, he landed strange. I mean, it was not planned this way by any means but he landed straight and then he had to fly home. Did you have other injuries during the shoot? Well, we had the injuries like burns and, uh, and, and stuff like that. Um, I got dehydrated one time at one point and I was in bed for four or five days and uh, you know, I had intravenous feeding. And those are the kind of things that, that will creep up on you and will happen throughout. You know? But the, there were a lot of injuries. There was no one of the stuntmen that came home with, uh, without injuries. But as far as serious injuries, nothing just debilitating. No, it is uh, sometimes you really you feel lucky that nothing happened to you because the things that you do, one little mistake, and it could be you know fatal. I mean, you could uh, really wipe out from it, and uh, so you have to really be careful uh, and concentrate and have enough rest and so on in order to do some of the things that you do. What is it that you maybe say five, ten years from now aspire to do because it seems like you, everything you've ever wanted to do or dreamed of doing, you have done. So ten years from now, what do you think you'll be doing? Well, I have not done everything that I set out to do uh, because uh, there's a lot of different types of films that I still would like to do. I like to do, uh, besides doing more action adventure films, uh, I would like to do comedy for instance. Uh, I love uh, doing uh, humorous things in films and uh, as you have seen in this film in Predator I, I try to put some humorous stuff in there, some comic relief throughout the film. Uh, of course it's not the kind of a film that lends itself to, to, to do a lot of fun things uh, but uh, I would like to do one straight through comedy one time. I also like to get more into producing and into directing in the future. So those are the kind of things that, uh, that I see in the next five or ten years. This film has um, a lot, as I said, a lot of action, adventure, stunts. It also has a lot of violence and gore, and then turns into, by your own admission, a horror film. Now, um, would you take the little Kennedy Shriver kids to see this movie, like the six to ten-year-olds, would you take them to see this? Well, it doesn't really matter wh whose kids they are. Uh, the fact of the matter is that each kid 
should go and listen to what their parents have to say. That's really the bottom line. I'm not out there to tell kids uh, of any age that they go and must see this film because I think that the parents are responsible uh, to let the, the kids know if they want them to see the film. And this is why we have, after we have done a film uh, like Predator, we give it to a rating board and the rating board says to you this is an R-rated movie or this is a PG-rated movie or whatever it may be. And uh, so then the parents, then this is on a poster and this is on a trailer and so on and in the commercials in a, in a, in a t on television and the parents then make up their own mind. Now, uh, the, most kids are the way I was and that is that when the parents said don't do something then I went ahead and did it. And it's just simply because the parents said don't do it. I mean, whatever my parents said, I will always go and do the opposite thing. You go through a stage like that, and then when you grow up and get to the age I'm in, you look back and you say how right my parents were. Everything they said to me and that I should do was absolutely right, you know, and sometimes you regret you haven't done the things that they've told you to do. But that's the way it is. As you looked at the film, Arnold, um, at, and the, I'm talking about the raw footage, um, were, were there any things that you said, no, wait a minute, that's too much, that's too violent, that's too gory. Uh, did you have any of that kind of input? Uh, every film that I do, I have a tremendous amount of input. If it is uh, choosing which script we are going to film, which director we are going to hire, uh, which uh, uh, kind of changes we are going to make in a script, uh, who, are, who are the stunt coordinators, and on and on and on, and how gory a scene is going to be or not. But I tell you, in, in this situation, in Predator, we have had the fortune of having a very smart director by the name of John McTurnan, who is a, he's a genius. He's like another Jim Cameron who did The Terminator. And guys like that have such a sense of what is too much and what is not enough. They come up with a real good middle ground. They shoot much gorier than you actually see on a screen. But then when it comes to the editing, they will cut most of it out because one of the things we don't want to do in this film is to exploit violence. We show enough of what, for instance, the predator has done to human beings in order to create and establish him as the villain, as the ultimate villain. And if we don't do something against him, he's going to do the same to us and let the audience feel like, oh my God, you know, what is he going to do now with the rest of the guys? that are in the jungle. So this is why you, you show the, the hanging bodies, skin, the life, and all those kind of things. But other than that, you don't want to really exploit the violence at all. And this guy, I think, did a, a, did a great job. The special effects have, are absolutely marvelous. Um, do you know if any new ground was broken in, in the effects that are done? Well, I think in this film, in Predator, um, everything that has been done was kind of a new grounds because I mean, this was the first time that I've been part of a film where we, where we for instance, shot all uh, of the, uh, the action, the whole uh, ambush on this village, on a guerrilla village, all of that was shot second unit. So they had all the time in the world to prepare themselves for the stunts because as you could see, there's a tremendous amount of fire continuously in that village and that becomes very dangerous. If you don't prepare that well, you're in deep trouble and you lose people left and right because when those guys are on flame like that, uh, full of flames, running around, you only can do that for around 15 seconds or so. Then that stuff that you put on, the gel, uh, gel burns off and the body starts burning. So they have to then jump into a hole. Be, the, the sand has to be piled on top of them so the flames go out and then you dig them out again. So each guy has to have someone to protect them there. So those things, when the, the first time I've seen that, number two, the special effects in the way of making the predator kind of camouflage against the background of the jungle. And then you look at the jungle and there's nothing there. And all of a sudden the jungle itself becomes alive and it rushes towards you and it hits you. You know, and so to get the feeling what it is like being the soldier getting hit and also getting the point of view of the predator the way he sees us. Not with normal human eyes, but with heat seeking vision. He sees the heat of the body. And so then for that we hired uh, a camera team, that was also the first time we ever used that, a camera team that has cameras that really can film heat. So we had to, for instance, uh, go and, and, and cover ourselves with bags, uh, with, with suits that will create heat inside. Then we take it off quickly when the body is in tremendous heat, like if you would come out of a jacuzzi or a sauna or something like this, and you run into the action in front of the camera and then 
the camera will pick it up. It will pick up just the heat, not the actual the, 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 the body, but the heat of the body. And so all this new technology has been used, and this is why I think the film has the impact that it has had when we screened the film to various different audiences. It has had the most positive uh, impact. Is that the infrared then? It's kind of like an infrared, yes. Yeah. Well, Arnold, it, it ought to do very, very well. It really should. Well, thank you. I tell you that we always test films, and you're always nervous before you test the film. You know you have a good film, but you don't know how it's going to, you know, what the effect it's going to have on the audience and if they love it. And this film has had over 90% approval rating. And that means that you must have the women like it, the older people like it, the young kids like it. So we are very fortunate with this film. One last question. At any point when Maria saw the movie, did she go like this? I think that uh, Maria knows enough about films uh, that uh, she knows that they only look at the performance and not thinking that I really uh, am about to get killed by, by this creature, by this predator and stuff like that. I mean, and, and she, she likes action movies, you know, and uh, maybe she likes them because when I'm in it, she likes it. I don't know, but she always enjoys my films and she always takes her friends to see the films and you know and she's a real big fan of mine and and uh, really gets carried away now jesse ventura his wife went to see the film and when he got killed in the film she started crying so it has different effects on people you know and uh, he couldn't he could not let his children see the movie because when they see their father be the first time in the film and the father getting killed in the film that's too much you know for seven or your kid or whatever that age is. I think it's seven or eight years old, his son. Okay. Well, Arnold, thanks for coming to Dallas. It was fun to talk with you. I love coming to Dallas. Come back. I tell you, I have come to Dallas so many times and book promotions and then movie promotions and bodybuilding promotions and all those kind of things and also just for fun that uh, I always felt that I was treated very well by the media in Dallas and I have a lot of fans here, so I enjoy coming back. Thanks.